Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 27 pound box full of all sorts of promotional items from an ex Nintendo employee. I'm here sitting on the floor because I don't have a chair yet. I just moved in. As you can tell, this is game room 2.0 under construction. We are gonna open this 27 pound box of Nintendo treasure. Watch until the end of the video to see the two rarest items in this box. Spoiler alert, they're kind of priceless. All right, let's go through this box and knock it out. Starting from the very top, it looks like we have some, oh baby, old school 2001 Animal Crossing GameCube plushies. This is the girl villager. We've also got a Resetti, all brand new in the packaging. My personal favorite, the boy villager with the fishing rod, two of them. Then we got a loose KK slider chilling in the box. The tag is a little beat up, but just check out the artwork on these tags, man. I love Animal Crossing GameCube. Back in early 2001 in Japan only, you could win these from Japanese crane machines and that's the only way you could get them. You couldn't just buy them in stores. You had to win these guys. And the body shapes are kind of awkward and claw machines are pretty much rigged anyway. So these were kind of impossible to get. Next up, we have some sort of bag of goodies. What do we have here? A Nintendo Nintendo light up bouncy ball promotional item Nintendo Nin Pro. I don't know what that is. But we got a couple of those. Okay, cool. And then I've seen these before. These are some really sweet little GameCube puzzle cubes. It's kind of like a Rubik's cube, but with only four cubes on each side. Got Pikmin, Sonic, and Star Fox. <laughs> Fox looks a little messed up there. We got a bunch of these. We got what? One, two, three, and four. Four puzzle cubes and two bouncy balls. Next up. Ooh, okay. We've got a Wario World wallet. I've seen these before. I actually used to have one of these, but I sold it like an idiot. Oh man, I've missed this. Oh, there's two of them. This is just a Wario World wallet. And it's funny because the Wario in this uh, wallet picture doesn't match how he looks in Wario World. They used the WarioWare Mega Party Games Wario for the wrong Wario game. And yeah, it's just a Velcro wallet with a little zipper inside. Kind of awesome. Got an open one and we have a sealed one, which is pretty sick. And then in the rest of this bag are like 10 of these. I don't even know what these are, like GameCube, keychain, string, thingamajigs. And we've got about a million of them. Moving right along here, we have some, I believe these are GameCube controllers, but I think they're brand new. They don't feel like they've ever been played. I think they're like new old stock or whatever that's called. This looks pretty perfect. It's a little dusty, but listen to that freaking analog stick. We've got a GameCube power brick. I don't know why this is in here. I don't remember this being part of the deal, but that's cool, I'll take it. Okay, here we go. Another black GameCube controller. Oh yeah, that's freaking clean, man. I don't think I've used a GameCube controller like this since Probably the early 2000s. Oh man, beautiful. Ooh, I love these. These are E3 squishy game cubes, stress cubes. And this one's brand new in the package. A little beat up on the corner here, but these were given out at E3 2002, I believe. And they're awesome. This is like my third one. <laughs> what is this? A Star Fox Adventures really dirty hat. Kind of sweet if you love dirty hats or Star Fox. What is this, a cup? Dang, this guy packed this stuff really good. I appreciate it, but... Ah, oh, dang. Ooh! Ooh! A GameCube... Oh, it says right here. Nintendo pen holder. We got a GameCube pen holder to hold our GameCube pens. Got another black controller. Another Star Fox hat. Ooh, baby! A GameCube hat! I didn't even know this was in the box. It's a little dirty, but hey, it could be cleaned up. The GameCube... Oh, man. Ooh, it's got some Nintendo branding on the back as well. That's crazy. I forgot what was in this box, but this was a pretty sweet buy. Ooh, we forgot Porter. So we got the whole set here. Porter, KK Slider, Rossetti, Boy Villager, and Girl Villager. These are some of my favorite plush sets probably ever created. Ooh, okay, okay. If anybody knows what this is, you're a genius. At first glance, it's a boring white box. We're gonna open it up and see what lies beneath. Oh wow, this looks old. Ew. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh no. <laughs> no. This is a Wind Waker GameCube bobblehead statue, but I just took the styrofoam off and it got all stuck to his head. So I'm gonna have to clean this guy up a little bit, but this is freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's more. There's three of them in here. Oh. All sealed. Are you serious? 
Okay, I'm not gonna open up these right now, but that's crazy. We got three Link bobbleheads. Looks like they were stored in someone's garage or something for a little too long because they look a little funky. Oh, we got some GameCube pens to put in our GameCube pen holder. Oh yeah, these are snazzy, bro. Look at that. GameCube pen, these are all in the original bag too. That's pretty sweet. Here's another different model. Looks like the rubber is about to just crumble into a billion little pieces. And a third model. How many different GameCube pens did they make? Finally, there's this little, I don't know what this is, Barlow Norwood, what is that? Let's see. Whoa, GameCube tape measure? <laughs> Dude, they made GameCube everything, what the? Okay guys, moving right along. What do we got next? Got a little GameCube CD holder. These are actually really nice and really useful. I'll probably use this myself. Oh, okay, these are Star Fox lanyards. Wait, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Got a little rubber GameCube lanyard with a little bit of poop on it, unfortunately. And a Star Fox Adventures lanyard. I'm not even the biggest Star Fox fan, but this one is pretty slick. The end of it looks like it was dug out of a ocean, out of the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. What the heck's going on here? Gonna have to put that back in the plastic bag. That's kind of gross. I almost just wonder if a lot of this was sitting in, you know, just like a garage or a storage unit for all this time and it just did not stand the test of time. I mean, a lot of this stuff is in perfect shape, but some of it's a little funky and I'm gonna have to clean it up, but it's not a big deal. Ooh, brand new factory sealed GameCube metal notebook. That is slick. If you guys haven't noticed the GameCube theme here, yeah, there's a lot of GameCube stuff. Oh, dang. Holy crap, these are sick. Dude, Kirby Air Ride Journal, and there's two of them. Both factory sealed, and these are thick, bro. These are heavy, really good quality. Two Kirby Air Ride notebooks, wow. Dude, I hit the GameCube jackpot. Oh, here we go, another journal. Whoa, do you guys remember the Who Are You slogan Nintendo used to have? Look at this, man. We got Diddy Kong, Wario, Bowser, Yoshi, Waluigi, Mario, Samus, Olimar, Link, Toad, Donkey Kong, Zelda, Star Fox, Peach, Captain Falcon. Who are you? Let's open it up, see if there's any top secret info in here. Mother 4, coming soon for the GameCube, imagine. Yeah, pretty, ew. Okay, this, ah, this is gross. Oh man, I love these. The Super Mario Sunshine mouse pad. And it originally came with like liquid inside to give like a watery effect, but a lot of them have dried up over the years, which is honestly kind of funny. I think I have three of these now. I'm starting to become a little bit of a hoarder. Oh no. We got some GameCube drip. <gasps> The GameCube Polo? Oh no, I'm not even gonna open that up right now. That's just, that's too fresh. That's just too fresh for this video. Oh, how many shirts are in here? Oh my gosh, never ending GameCube tees. Oh wow, we got the F-Zero shirt here. I'll see if I could pop up a picture of this one because I don't want to open these up quite yet. F-Zero T, what is this? Just like a plain old GameCube T. Looks like there's a graphic on the inside. I, you know, I think this is the F-Zero GX t-shirt actually. I'll see if I could pop up a picture of that one too. All right guys, we're getting down to the end of the box here. We got two banger items coming at the end, so stay posted. We got another one of these. F-Zero t-shirts, I believe. Here's a shirt that actually looks like it has mold stains inside of it. Ew! It's like old mayonnaise. I mean, not mayonnaise, bologna. Oh my God, I'm tripping. Bologna. Did I just say bologna? <laughs> okay, what is this? Whoa. Mario Kart Double Dash. I don't even know what this is, a timer? I, I literally couldn't tell you what this is. Like a, It's like a timer. When you're timing your Mario Kart laps, I guess. GameCube branded, Um, is that a freaking bug? Is that a larva? GameCube brand and larva? I don't know what these are. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Next up, a bunch of these little cardboard boxes here. Crystal quartz. Let's open these up and see what's inside. Oh, it's exactly what we just had in our hands one second ago. Completely, oh my God, just fell apart. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but we got a million of them. Prime. And I ain't talking about no damn energy drink either. What is inside of here? Oh, I've seen these. These are little calculators. Yeah, look at this. GameCube, oh, this is sick. Does it open up? Oh, the GameCube pocket calculator. That's wild. This thing's state of the art. What are these little gray boxes? I'm not sure. Oh, crap, okay. These little Mario Kart timers. We've got a ton of them. If you guys want a Mario Kart timer, go to cakeordergames.com. I'll be selling a lot of these duplicate merch items on the shop. Oh. 
a GameCube bag with the Game Boy Advance holder built into it. This is wild, bro. It's shaped like a freaking GameCube. Hold on, I gotta come around and give you guys the full shot of this. That's insane. Put some GameCube discs in here. Nah, that's ludicrous. Oh, we got a bag of these Game Boy players slash GameCube uh, little pocket note pocket notebooks. Cool. F-Zero GX pin. Okay, I gotta open this up. Oh, sweet. Okay, so looks like this was some sort of F-Zero GX promo. Got some stickers, maybe for your memory card. And then on the other side, we got an F-Zero GX pin. This game rules, by the way, if you haven't played it. Also in the bag are some really high quality metal GameCube spinner medallion keychains, but that's not it. Mini GameCube mini Game Boy and a mini freaking Wavebird controller keychain. This is crazy. We've got a bunch of these. If you guys want one of these badass keychains, you know where to go, man, kcordergames.com. All right, folks, only two items left and these are the bangers. Starting off, we have what appears to be just a normal Game Boy player with the Game Boy player startup disc, but if you look a little bit closer, you'll see a sticker that says Property of NMI, Redmond, Washington, the Nintendo headquarters. This exact Game Boy Player attachment, along with the Game Boy Player startup disc, was purchased from the Nintendo employee-only store. These stickers would go on the items that only Nintendo employees could buy. So this is a really cool little look into Nintendo history, man. An actual Nintendo employee owned this, bought it from their super secret exclusive store, or Walmart. Wait, what? I don't know why that Walmart sticker's there, but I'm pretty sure that's what this sticker means. Hmm, I don't know. If anybody knows the real truth behind this item, let me know in the comments. But all this stuff was owned by a Nintendo employee, and I think that's pretty sick. But not nearly as sick as what I'm about to finish this banger of a video off with. This, you probably don't know what it is, so I'm gonna open it up for you. Holy crap. <laughs> This thing's got a little bit of lore. This is a cut the cord Wavebird wireless controller. Blue pouch, okay? And inside, you don't have to be a genius to guess, there's a Wavebird. Now right off the bat, that doesn't sound too crazy, right? First of all, I will say this Wavebird is near immaculate. I've never seen a, oh, a little bit of battery corrosion. Got the property of Nintendo sticker at the top here. But that's not what makes this thing so rare, the Wavebird. It is near identical to a retail Wavebird, but this pouch is where this thing has some lore, some history. These were given out at Nintendo E3 2002, I believe, at a Mario Party 4 tournament. They would have these hourly or every 30 minutes, they would do like a four player Mario Party 4 tournament. And the winner of these little mini game tournaments will get this cool blue pouch with a free Wavebird inside. And this was notable because this was weeks before the Wavebird even came out. So you'd be getting this controller early. Anyway, they only gave out about 50 of these blue pouches ever at the entire event and one of them is right here which is absolutely crazy to me and to make things even more insane this exact wavebird as you can see by the sticker probably wasn't given away this was the employee controller used by the exact employee that sold me all this stuff to demonstrate the wavebird this was the personal controller of the already extremely rare Cut the Cord Wavebird Blue Pouch Controller. Insane. I don't even know what this would be worth. There's only rumored to be, I think, what, one to 50 or one to 100 of these ever made, ever given away. And somehow I got one of them. Absolutely sick. Here is a complete shot of the Nintendo Employee Hall, and I think we kinda killed it, guys. I'll be keeping a good amount of this for my personal collection, but most of the duplicates will be sold on my website, kcordergames.com, so if you guys want anything, go ahead and check it out.